Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I implement a really simple mobile dust collection system for a small workshop. Now, of course, I know that there are hundreds of videos out there on dust collection systems and how to implement them in your workshop and different builds and different cabinets that you can make for your dust collection system. And I've seen all sorts of brilliant setups and I've watched tons of videos and only just now I've come around to getting myself one of these dust collection systems and do away with my vacuum bags. I got tired of paying for vacuum bags. I got tired of paying for filters. It was time to upgrade and get a better dust collection system overall in the workshop. After watching multiple reviews, I settled on the Dust Deputy from Oneida Air Systems. This got the best reviews that I saw and in terms of testing that was already done all over YouTube, it seemed to perform the best for the money. And so I decided to buy the entire kit. This video is going to be a quick build, but it's also going to be a cautionary tale on how much you should spend on a dust collection system and how you should implement it if you end up buying one for yourself. These are the parts from one bag. So that's it, that's the hardware that came out of the two bags. The hose that came with it, which is maybe not the highest quality vacuum hose, but it should, uh, it should work. Got a gasket that is obviously made to fit this lid. Then I got the most important part, Everything works with the vacuum attached, but the big problem is that when you have a sloped floor, this setup doesn't work very well. The second thing is that because of the taper on the cylinder for the vacuum, this is going to sit perpetually at a bit of an angle, so not a good setup. And I don't recommend punching holes in your vacuum to do this at all. Don't make the same mistake that I made. The other problem is the amount of space that it takes up in my small workshop. You can see it takes up a good chunk of floor space side by side like this with the vacuum and the buckets. I'm not too concerned about the holes that I punched in it, but I'm gonna tell you right now, don't do it. It is not worthwhile. So here I have a ready-made furniture dolly. I'm not even going to change it, the configuration of it. I'm not going to take the wheels off or anything. And just so happens, it's about the perfect size for my shop vac. Yes, I'm using pocket holes.
commented that I couldn't cut a 2x4 with a 7 and one quarter inch framing blade, this is for you. Bucket mounted on top. These are just scrap pieces of plywood that I have left because I'm pretty much fresh out of plywood. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you've got a hole through the panel that you've mounted the bucket into. That's so you can avoid suction. So let's see how this goes. I've got a bit of cleaning up to do. So it looks like it's sucked up quite a bit including parts I didn't want to suck up. But what's nice about this is I can see if I've accidentally vacuumed something. Whereas with the bags, it's gone forever pretty much. You're not gonna find it again. We take the vacuum out of the cabinet, which is quite easy to do. Completely clean. Everything, all the debris, all the dust has been sucked up into the bucket, which is exactly what we want. So I'll take you on a little tour of this shop vac system. It's a very simple cart, as you can see, a really quick build using a furniture dolly and a very simple cabinet structure consisting of less than half a sheet of plywood and one eight foot two by four. And that's all you really need to build this. It's nice and light. The construction is strong. It's uh, not wobbly in the least, very, very strong. And uh, it doesn't really require a heavy duty frame because even when this bucket is full, it's not gonna weigh so much that it's going to uh, break anything. So the reason I didn't close off the top of the cabinet is so that I can store my hoses and some of the attachments still. So now I have this hose which can still be wrapped around the vacuum. There's still space for that. I can pull that out, attach it to the top, and now I'm ready to go. I've got a working hose. You also might notice that I added a power bar to the bottom just to make it easier to switch the vacuum on and off. I don't have to go reaching for the top switch on top of the vacuum itself. Now it's permanently plugged into this power bar and I also have extra room for other things to plug into this. This makes it a lot easier. Uh, the furniture dolly was a logical starting point. It was the perfect size. I just picked it up at Home Depot. It doesn't take up a lot of space in the shop. I am now able to stack the dust collection on top of the vacuum 
and I've got a nice light cart to roll around um, and it gets it out of the way pretty quickly. I've added the power bar as a supplementary feature in case I need another power outlet wherever I roll this thing to. So that's just an added benefit and bonus to building another cart for the shop. But overall, I'm quite happy and really impressed with the Dust Deputy. The vacuum has better suction now than it did when I was using bags. I find that it's collecting a lot of the finer dust that perhaps it wasn't collecting before. I spent $100 on the total system. I got the deluxe kit. That was probably too much money to spend on it. As you can see, I didn't end up using most of the parts in the kit not even the hose that came with it. I actually had this spare vacuum hose, but now I'm able to use that old hose in this dust collection system and it works out just fine. The Cyclone itself, you can buy for around $50 online. I do not recommend punching holes in your vacuum and trying to attach the bucket with the wheels onto your vacuum. I do not recommend that at all. Uh, I highly recommend building a cart. If you wanna build a fancier cart, go ahead, knock yourself out. The one I built took one eight foot two by four and less than a half a sheet of plywood. And it's so light I can even pack it up into my truck and take it on the road with me if I want my dust collection system on a job site. Having a dust collection system is gonna pay for itself within a couple of months, at least in my shop. If you wanna help out this channel, head on over to my donation page right over here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. There are a couple more videos on this side you can watch. Until next time, thanks for watching and have a great day.